end from 2014. Lauren Bacall died today. It is okay to die old and blessed. A link to the golden age of movies has passed. She was 19 years old when she was cast opposite Humphrey Bogart. She was 31 when he passed from cancer, leaving her a widow. She was a screen siren and then an accomplished actress when she was older. A lifelong Democrat supporter, she once sang sitting on top of a piano played by then Vice President Truman. She was the first cousin to Shimon Perez. May she rest in peace. The casualty list for the Liberal Party in New South Wales looks appalling. The administration is making good decisions for the state and the opposition has yet to show a policy that is worthwhile. The criticism of the Liberal Party by a triumphant press is not proportionate to the accusations relative to the Australian Labour Party and government. The New South Wales Libs seem to have fallen foul of a technicality regarding fundraising that doesn't appear to amount to much. Had the regulation not uh, been to exclude developers from donating, no crime would have been committed. However, one of the many corrupt Australian Labour Party figures is accused of misappropriating half a billion dollars. And when Obeid was in office, the ICAC turned a blind eye. The ICAC cannot pick and choose which laws it will investigate, or which party if it is to be independent. However, I am uncomfortable that there is a suggestion that corrupt libs were sharing with corrupt ALP former Minister Tripodi. My issue is tied up with Tripodi, and I want to know I have not lost my career, my home, and my future because the Libs are in cahoots with my abuser, who had been my sitting member. The ICAC ignored my submission in 2001 before Hamadur Rahman died. Did ICAC incompetence kill a schoolchild? Are they covering up that neglect and their persecution of Liberal members? And that's it for today. If you come by this video at another time and you like it, like it! Also feel free to comment and share. Spread the love. Be well.